so warm hello to all the learners uh, this is saurav preeti as you know and uh, we have got a very special guest today we have got elba mandril ma'am today with us uh, she is ukpsc rank 1 english and uh, this form was uh, you know out in year 2017 eventually the final results uh, took two long years to come because it was first of all the written exam and then interview and uh, she scored rank 1 and that was a matter of privilege for all of us and uh, she is with us today and uh, so before starting anything i would just request ma'am to give us a brief introduction of herself and then we will proceed thank you sir so a very good morning to all of you and to respected saurav sir and i really thank you for inviting me for this you know small meeting so it's uh, it's not a new place for me i have been visiting this place for long time and it's just like uh, my friend's home <laughs> so i just keep visiting whenever i'm in haldwani i keep visiting so before i uh, we i share about my journey about net and ukpsc i would like to give my introduction as uh, an introduction is very important because uh, because of my name people think i belong to maybe somewhere somewhere from outside so i just want to tell you that i belong to haldwani i was born in almora and i was brought up in haldwani and i did my schooling from uh, st paul senior secondary school and uh, i did my in my uh, like uh, 12th class uh, my stream was commerce so i did my graduation in commerce so this is something uh, similar between both of us that we do not uh, uh, belong to arts cat category we can say so uh, both of us did our uh, you know graduation in some other field so uh, i did my graduation in commerce from just uh, girls degree college just in front of us we all know that uh, so i studied from here and my aim was uh, not basically to become any teacher or anything like i wanted to be a chartered accountant so and i was uh, like not very intelligent but i was good at accountancy and all that uh, but due to some circumstances in my family i could not uh, pursue my career in um, that field and uh, in 2007 when i just completed my graduation my father actually he got ill he got uh, paralytic attack so he was paralyzed and uh, due to some uh, circumstances i had i was the elder one i ha i have one younger sister so i was the elder one and uh, we did not have, we don't have any brother so i was the person who had to take the responsibility of the family so i went to delhi in 2007 and for around 2 years i worked in bpo uh, that is converges and uh, again one similarity between both of us that uh, saurav sir had also worked in converges and when i went i think at that year he came back and i was there so that time we were not in touch <laughs> right so i worked there uh, in converges for 2 years then again due to some family circumstances i came back to haldwani and then i joined uh, here uh, spoken english institute global center of languages which is at durga city center i worked there for 2 years 3 years almost 3 years and uh, that time life was like uh, i had no aim frankly speaking i did not have any idea about net phd or what i have to do the only thing uh, that was in my mind was to take care of my family i have to earn and i have to you know see my family that was the only thing so while working there i decided okay let's do ma just without any you know thought uh, i thought okay i am teaching english so let's do ma in english so i did ma in english and after that uh, pg actually i got in contact with saurav preeti sir and from there on like i had i got to know about net about phd and then that journey began so this is just a small introduction just i wanted to tell you because uh, people think okay most of the people think okay they have qualified this or they have achieved this maybe they have very good background people supported them and um, so this was not in my case and this happens with most of us many of us that we have certain family problems many things are there and with all that things on our shoulders we have to face the world we have to face the competition so this uh, this is about introduction and rest questions sir will be asking me <laughs> yes. okay uh, so wonderfully explained alba uh, uh, ma'am wonderful i have got the questions for you now so the first question that as you have told before asking the next question because i want it to be a natural you know interview i don't want it to be a very mechanical one so uh, the next question that directly you know comes from your introduction is that as you have told that uh, that for you also it was not a straight 
path it was not a linear path there were many ups and downs like as you have told that you were from commerce background and then you eventually worked in a bpo and then you came back and then did your ma and then after that you you know you were doing a work in uh, in a spoken english institute and then for um, in Amra, at amrapali yes. also i think you thought, uh, taught and then eventually this journey of net and you know assistant professor and now that you are here so the learn for learners i would like to straight away log, like to say that same thing happened with me as well i am uh, i did my 12th science and then i did my uh, field uh, commerce and then i did mass communication and then in between there was converges also so when i was also facing the commission interview it's a very interesting thing that happened that they said that you are not made for literature this is what they said to me in the interview and they said because you have a very different kind of path and you have not done your ba and you are not from literary field how else how can you become assistant professor so i just said to them that uh, sir at every incident i try to become I try to know my uh, know myself, and I try to. I, the more I, you know, did other things, the more I came to know that I am made for made for literature. And luckily, I just, you know, got a chance uh, to read one of the poems of Keats, and that had a huge impact uh, by Shelley rather on Keats Adonis. That had a huge impact on me, and that suddenly, you know, changed my life. This is what I said to the commission interview. So, just a just a thought for all of us that it's not. always that life will take a perfect trajectory we have to carve our own path out of it right and if we are committed like her towards your aim then definitely you are going to get it sooner or later this is what i also strongly believe so the first question alba ma'am here is that tell us your journey as a learner of qualifying net and eventually becoming assistant professor rank 1 ukpsc just tell us about your journey as a as a net aspirant Yeah so well I have as I have told you that after uh, completing my PG in English uh, that was also like that time in Kumau University there was uh, this uh, private MA we could do now it is only through open university so I did my MA in English uh, through uh, you know private one so in my viva actually uh, there was a professor uh, from Garhwal he came and uh, we just faced the viva and he actually motivated me he asked some questions I uh, uh, you know I opted for linguistic so he was very surprised that how come a student a private student can opt for linguistic as a or as an optional paper so he asked me many questions and i could answer some of them could not answer some of them but still he was like very impressed and he told me that you should go for net you should go for phd and um, from there uh, Uh, he asked us like one of my friend was also there uh, dr mamta bisht who is all, who also qualified ukpsc with in the same group and she is posted in pithoragarh right now so we both of us were there in that uh, viva of ma in english uh, so uh, he told us to visit the department and uh, get to know about phd and um, uh, net uh, so it was something new and we were not at all prepared that we, uh, somebody telling us that you can prepare for phd or net because for both of us the condition was uh, similar that uh, okay we are just doing job and we have done ma in english so then we went to english department and we met there uh, dr purnima bhatnagar ma'am who is also my guide in phd and um, we told her that ma'am we want to to you know prepare for net from there uh, she told us okay there is one research scholar <laughs> and uh, saurav you just go and meet him so this is how we got in contact that uh, Uh, two of us we went to him and we got in contact from there we decided okay we have to prepare for net so as a learner i would say like see it it was very difficult for me because i was a commerce graduate i had not done ba so poetry was especially something which would just go over my head i would not understand anything what uh, you know as they, we then we decided okay let's make a group we'll uh, discuss we'll study together and sir started uh, that coaching the previous building where we used to meet we uh, said okay we'll meet together and we'll start so, but still we were very open to learning that was the main thing i would always say you know always be open to learning um, as a commerce graduate it was very difficult for me to understand poetry to understand other thing i had done m in english but that you all know like in private we just you know a study just two days before our uh, you know exam and just go for exam so till that time i wasn't prepared actually but then 
discussion and meetings and that environment actually helped me a lot to understand english to understand uh, the concepts and whatever we discuss so if i had not got that environment frankly speaking king i couldn't have qualified net at all so that environment that we got like saurabh sir i my friends mamta and other uh, students were also there we used to uh, you know um, gather and uh, discuss many things would not i would not understand at that time uh, but still we continued so that is a process of learning you can't expect that okay uh, there are different you know levels of understanding one may understand easily one may not understand uh, in a first go so it takes time you have to give time to yourself so i started my journey of preparing net in 2012 when i was working in amrapali and my timing was i used to go from uh, at 8 o'clock uh, by bus uh, to amrapali and come back by 5 o'clock so before 8 a.m i used to visit his like place that center not this one the previous one so around 6:30 i remember 6 or 7 i used to be there uh, study for an hour, for an hour and go to amrapali work there for from 8 to 4:30 or something then come back at 4 uh, around 5 o'clock and then study again for one and half hour or so and then go back so sometimes it was very difficult also uh, to retain whatever we have discussed or to understand the concept but the main thing is environment that i got there i because it is very important when you are preparing for any exam or anything uh, to be in touch to have that environment that keeps you motivated right uh, so that uh, that way i prepared for net and i began in 2012 and i qualified in 2015 so it took long time uh, because i was working also i couldn't give my 100% but somehow i was managing whatever time i can give so that's way and sir kept me motivated uh, the whole environment everything it kept me motivated to prepare at one point of time i when i couldn't qualify my use set yes yes i was so much depressed i literally cried that how come i haven't qualified my use set and others like my friends they were qualifying net and i was not even able to qualify my use set so that was very depressing but then i again met sir and we had a discussion he motivated me a lot and we thought okay let's start from the beginning so just be open to learning um, that's why uh, you know friends and uh, people uh, like uh, the such environment is very important to keep you motivated because it's not in a one go one may qualify in a one go i'm not saying but um, it depends on person to person how much prepare, preparation you are doing many other things are there so you know uh, it's very important to that consistency is very important i would say as a learner Correct. to continuously you know don't leave it don't quit there are moments when you feel like okay maybe it's not for me i'm not you know meant for this or this and that there are family problems many things but be you know regular sometimes it happens when you are not able to give your maybe you study for 4 hours but there are circumstances you are not able to give your uh, like 100% still be in touch at least give one hour so like this uh, this is how i prepared <laughs> and it went on uh, one thing that i would like to say about album m is that uh, as she rightly said that when she couldn't qualify you said and that time uh, she met me and i also distinctly remembered that there was a big discussion that we had regarding our, her career and um, uh i don't know as a mentor i would not say even a mentor for her as i have said that she in fact i have been motivated by people like elba ma'am and mamta ma'am all these people actually motivated me also to become the better version of myself actually so it is not like means even like the students that are now even i don't consider myself as a teacher that i always right from my heart i always believe as a that i am a brother and i am as a maybe as a mentor at all if 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 at all i am a mentor i don't think that i have a right to say myself as a teacher or for that matter anybody should have a 
have a right to say himself or herself as a teacher it's for the students to decide but one thing that i would like to say about elba ma'am now that we are here the quality that she had and that all of you can imbibe is the never say die attitude because when she didn't qualify you said you can understand that uh, there were students who were qualifying net people with her they were qualifying net she couldn't qualify you said which is considered to be very frank a con, you know an exam which is not of that quality so she was really heartbroken crestfallen i would say but um, i for that for sure knew that she has got the potential so i in a way try to you know try to guy and uh, try to in a way guide her and also told her that she has the potential it's just the matter of time and luckily she she believed in whatever i told her and now that uh, we are here you know celebrating her success and also getting motivated from her so life mein hum log ko na chote chote moments mein bade tricky moments hote hain aur faith bahut count karta hai apne mentor ke liye main ye kahunga chahe wo koi bhi ho आपका फेथ होना चाहिए भले वो मेंटर आपके लिए आप किसी भी रूप में हो ब्रदर के तौर पर हो सर के तौर पर हो फ्रेंड के तौर पर हो बट मेंटर इज़ अ मेंटर आई बिलीव और अगर आपका फेथ है और वो आपसे कह रहा है क्योंकि आप उस रास्ते पे नहीं गए हो मेंटर ने देखा है कि इन्होंने भी निकाला है इन्होंने भी तो वो आपके पोटेंशियल को जानता है हो सकता है आप उस समय लग रहा हो आपको कि यार मैं नहीं निकाल पाऊँगा ये नहीं हो पाएगा मेरे से बट अगर मेंटर आपसे कह रहा है तो मैं आप सब लोगों के लिए एक टिप दे रहा हूँ अगर वो आपसे कह रहे हैं इंडिविजुअली प्राइवेट में बुला के कि नहीं भाई आपके अंदर है वो पोटेंशियल आप कर सकते हो तो इसका मतलब आपको फिर दोबारा से सोचना जरूर चाहिए मैं ये नहीं कहूँगा कि आप आँख बंद करके करें लेकिन नाइन्टी अगर एक मेंटर अच्छा मेंटर है और वो आपका दिल से वट क्वालिटी एल्बा हैज़ इज़ द कम्पैशनेट कम्पैशन यू नो कम्पैशनेट एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स हर लर्नर्स ये क्वालिटी हमने एल्बा मैम से सीखी मैंने खुद uh, कई कई सारे स्टूडेंट्स में कम्पैशन एक होता है सहृदयता दिल से स्टूडेंट्स के लिए काम करना ये नहीं सोचना कि हम टीचर हैं वो स्टूडेंट हैं ये सोचना कि मेरे ब्रदर सिस्टर्स हैं तो कम्पैशन का जो एटीट्यूड है और नेवर से डाई एटीट्यूड शी इज़ अ फाइटर इन दैट वे शी इज़ अ फाइटर तो ये जो है वो क्वालिटी आपके अंदर भी आनी चाहिए क्योंकि मैं देखता हूँ कई बार हम बड़े डाउन हो जाते हैं छः महीने हमने कोर्स किया के में एंड देन वी लीव वी वर डिस्कसिंग आउटसाइड द रूम सो दैट शुड नॉट बी देयर लुक एट हर स्टोरी फॉर टू ईयर्स शी कंटिन्यू टू स्ट्रगल एंड देन इवेंचुअली वैन द रिजल्ट केम इट वॉज रैंक वन तो रैंक वन इज वर्थ दैट स्ट्रगल आप समझ रहे हैं तो मैं आपको नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेता हूँ कि एल्बा मैम स्पेसिफिकली टू थिंग्स दैट कम टू माई माइंड बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू मेक दिस वेरी शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट ऑल्सो टू थिंग्स स्पेशली आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क इन दिस क्वेश्चन दैट वन इज स्पेशली द प्रिपेर द प्रेशर ऑफ एग्जाम फॉर ऑफ नेट यू नो वेन यू यूज टू गिव दैट एग्जाम what pressures you faced and why did you not you know in the first go did not qualify what are the learnings that you learned learned and then eventually how you cracked that in terms of your exam scenario let us know about that and the second thing is that how do you remain motivated during your lows you know because of course you get the environment you have already answered apart from that what are the things that you that kept you going you know, so these two questions Okay, so firstly, I'll answer the first question. Like, how I prepared for NET and UKPSC? Exam the, ha, yeah, exam scenario. See, it is very important to uh, recognize or identify your weakness. So, uh, what I learned, like in when I first gave the this first exam of NET, so I couldn't qualify. Uh, then that time I didn't realize much, but later on with more attempts. it was very important for me to understand my weakness so as a learner i would say it is very important to analyze your weaknesses as well right where are you lacking you are you are preparing but where are you lacking what is the reason right so one of the most important thing was like i was studying very superficial right as sometimes happen with us that okay we just take book we read it and then we don't many times we don't understand the concepts but we think okay we know this so there are many things are in our mind but we don't understand the concepts so this was one of the weakness which i you know identified at that times that i was not uh, understanding the concepts properly but i was just reading and reading and reading so uh, then we had a discussion regarding it then uh, like when you are preparing for net there are two types of reading that you have to do one is in depth 
and uh, second is vast reading also because syllabus is uh, very vast so you have to read a lot there as uh, if you remember uh, the essay by francis bacon of studies that way you have to prepare there are certain th topics that uh, mm, uh, that you may not need to go in depth but you must know about the things okay. right and then there are topics that you cannot leave you cannot just uh, you know read superficially and think okay i understand it like if you talk about criticism and theory so that is something you have to go in depth if you don't go in depth you won't understand it and you would just remember okay this was given by him and this and that and they are not going to ask such questions direct questions right so that uh, the, those are the concepts which you need to understand go in depth and when we talk about okay world literature and other things these are the things which you can prepare okay we we must know as much as we can so understanding your weakness as i said like uh, I, I identified that i was not preparing in a proper way making a, strat a strategy is very important suppose you are putting your 100% but in the wrong direction so that that will not help you if i just you know try to push this uh, wall so even if i give my 100% it won't move so you are giving your 100% you are um, you know studying day and night but if it if you don't have right strategy for that so that will actually affect so it's very important to have proper strat strategy the preparation of like previous year question papers if i remember right we used to do a lot <coughs> that actually helps a lot that you prepare previous year question papers uh, the options which are given there we used to study them as well each and every uh, question in a proper way so just making a proper strategy making your notes and then very important revision as you all know that uh, in net uh, or uh, for any exam we can't cram or mug up the things it uh, it all depends on revis uh, revision how many times you revise so you remember you know things you, we can't um, mug it up or cram it so these things are very important having a proper uh, plan like okay uh, for these man, these many days i'll do this part and then you know i'll revise and then attempting the mock um, like test and all that so such strategy is very important without a, strat a strategy uh, you may you know you then you if we don't qualify then we feel depressed and all that so it all it happened with me also so in my learning only i learned that is you know doing preparation in a right way is very important that i would say mm -hmm. but kept you going through your lows yeah see uh, firstly i would say i have faced many things in my life uh, so my friends obviously uh, there are two things inner motivation and outer motivation so my friends are my outer motivations like uh, saurabh sir is there mamta ma'am is there and my other friends are there so who keep me motivated but yeah obviously all of us also go through some of, some of the other problems in our life so inner motivation is very important for us um, frankly speaking right now as i am working in uh, government uh, pg college kapkot so it is very far um, like uh, very distant place we don't have that proper environment of uh, teaching and learning in college it is there means uh, there are no such uh, you know centers like this places like this where we can have some discussion and all that so uh, it's very important to keep myself motivated so i just you know um, one very important thing which i believe don't forget your uh, low times which i had faced in my life from there i get you know that positivity suppose if i am asked to do any work which maybe at that point of time i am not able to means i am not happily um, i am ready to accept it but i remember the time when i faced the interview how was my condition how eager i was to you know get this job so when i am fa when i face such situation like a few days back i was asked to go to dehradun to attend a meeting so i was not very willing to go i was like okay why should i go there are so many other things now from kapkot you have to go to dehradun so we many times we feel like, like okay why should i do this work right why others can't do this work so i just remember the time of my interview and when i did not get my job i remember those days so then i just you know remind myself no i i have come uh, for this job i have come here so with that commitment if i had been asked this question in the interview we always say okay we will do this if we get job we or we do this if we get job but after getting the job our attitude changes why should i do this 
<laughs> Why am I asked to do this? So this shouldn't change actually. We should remember the time. So as a learner, if you are a student, like just rem just think about the students who are not getting this opportunity, right? Think of students in remote hills of Uttarakhand, like where I am working right now in Kapkot and Bageshwar. They are there are students who are willing to learn. They they want to qualify, you know, study for net and everything, but they don't have such environment. They don't have such you know uh, facilities for that. So it's like we uh, one thing very important for all of us in our life, you know, count our blessings. In the Bible, it is written that count your blessings every day. So we instead of focusing on what we don't have, of course, we should try for those things. But it's very important to count our blessings every day, what we have got and, you know, utilize it in the best way. That, would, that I would say. Thank you, sir. So, uh, just the last question before, uh, you know, I just sum, sum up what you just said beautifully is that what she said that revision is very important and also environment, all these are the things that are takeaways means I want to say this to all of you, that what they are saying is that they are not going to be in a little bit. क्योंकि जब उन्होंने करा है और उतनी सारी चीज़ों से निकली हैं तब वो बोल रही हैं तो कई बार हम लोग इन चीज़ों को बड़ा कैजुअली सुनते हैं और मैंने देखा फिर आई गई बात हो जाती है तो ये जो इस तरह की मीटिंग्स होती हैं ये लाइफ चेंजिंग हो सकती हैं अगर आपने दिल पर इनकी बातों को ले लिया कि एल्बा मैम ने आज क्या बोला था अपनी मेन मेन पॉइंट्स क्या बोले थे और उनको अगर आपने अप्लाई कर दिया इनमें से किसी एक चीज़ को भी तो मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि हमें से कई लोगों की लाइफ बन जाएगी क्योंकि जो ये बोल रही हैं ये खाली हवा में नहीं है इन्होंने करके दिखाया है इसलिए आज हम लोग के सामने बैठकर इन बातों को बोल रही हैं इन्होंने जो आ, मैं आई नो हर इनसाइड आउट और अभी जो इन्होंने बोला कि जो कम्पैशनेट एटीट्यूड है जॉब के लिए जो डेडिकेशन है वो बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है और सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट ये है कि एक जो रिविजन और स्मार्ट अप्रोच स्मार्ट अप्रोच की जो क्वेश्चंस में भी जो ऑप्शन हैं उनको भी देखना तो एग्जाम ओरिएंटेड स्मार्ट अप्रोच से पढ़ना है एनवायरनमेंट को लेना है और खासकर आउटर मोटिवेशन के लिए आपके फ्रेंड्स इनर मोटिवेशन के लिए इन्होंने बोला कि डोंट फॉरगेट योर स्ट्रगल डेज जे वेन एवर यू आर फीलिंग कम्फर्टेबल जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज़ वॉट शी सेड वंडरफुल मतलब ये मेरे लिए भी एक पर्सनली नोट करने वाली बात है हम सब लोगों के लिए है ये इनफैक्ट हम सभी तो लर्नर हैं तो लास्ट में मैम क्योंकि हम लोग नेट के सेगमेंट को ही हमने डील किया है लास्ट एक हमारा सेगमेंट रह जाता है एल टी लेक्चरर का उत्तराखंड में स्पेशली हमारा के जे स्पेशली मैम ये है कि आ, क्या है कि कई सारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं जो बी एड करके एल टी और लेक्चरर के लिए पढ़ते हैं और पिछली बार हमारा काफ़ी एक आउटस्टैंडिंग रिजल्ट रहा था मोर देन थर्टी थर्टी फाइव स्टूडेंट्स क्वालिफाइड फॉर लेक्चर एन एल टी यू नो सो जस्ट यू नो जस्ट टेल दैम वेरी क्विकली कि जो हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर कैसे इम्पॉर्टेंट है ग्रामर का क्या इम्पॉर्टेंस है क्योंकि ग्रामर भी आती है एल टी लेक्चर के पेपर्स में एंड uh, कैसे ये लोग पढ़े हैं और मतलब बहुत शॉर्ट में कि हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर बेसिक्स ऑफ इंग्लिश का क्या इम्पॉर्टेंस है फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच इन सारी चीज़ों को जस्ट इफ़ यू कैन जस्ट टच अप ऑन दैम वेरी क्विकली स्पेशली फॉर आवर इंग्लिश फाउंडेशन एल टी लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स see as i have already told like understanding of concepts is very important so when we talk about history of english literature aap jab tak use matlab uska political social when we uh, study history so it's not only literature that we are studying we are studying the background as well to wo background ko understand karte hue ki uska kya impact hua literature pe it is very important to understand अब मुझे एक्चुअली लिटरेचर एल टी का पेपर मैंने अभी देखा भी नहीं है काफ़ी टाइम से सो आई डोंट हैव एनी मीन्स मच आइडिया अबाउट इट बट द बेसिक थिंग इज़ कि आपके कॉन्सेप्ट्स क्लियर होने चाहिए जो भी फिगर ऑफ स्पीच वाली बात हमने कही कि कॉन्सेप्ट्स को क्लियर करना है उनको देखते हुए जाना है और जितना प्रैक्टिस में लाएँ आप खुद से क्वेश्चन या पोइट्री या जो भी कर रहे हैं आप उसको आ, समझते हुए उसको सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करेंगे दैट विल एक्चुअली हेल्प यू सो रिविजन करते रहिए और उसको समझते हुए आगे बढ़ना है र, याद रटने वाला तो कुछ है ही नहीं इसमें आप जितना पढ़ें लाइक देर आर सो मेनी गुड बुक्स सर हैज मस्ट हैव टोल्ड यू कि हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर के आपका एडवर्ड एल्बर्ट है और बाकी जो भी बुक्स हैं उनको पढ़ते चलें और रिवीजन करते जाइए ये चीज़
सो थैंक यू सो मच एल्बा मैम इट्स बीन अ वंडरफुल वंडरफुल यू नो मीटिंग विद यू एंड पर्सनली आई हैव लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम यू ओवर द इयर्स एंड वन वन क्वालिटी दैट आई हैव इज दैट वेन आई एम कनेक्टेड विद पीपल लाइक यू नो हार्ट टू हार्ट I I you know get emotional and I cannot speak uh, you know so I have wonderful memories with Elba ma'am as a learner co-learner okay so thank you so much ma'am for your uh, for your important invaluable guidance and let's say connected uh, together for years to come